as we get older, our sense of time changes. And as we go further back in time, the images in our minds become less clear. But not everything we think we know about getting older is true. A study published in The Frontiers in Psychology surveyed more than 500,000 people between the age of 10 and 89. And most of the people surveyed thought that middle age started at 30. Surprisingly, as we get older, our ideas about getting older change. Studies show that most older adults are happier with their lives than most young adults. But as we age, what we think of as being old changes. This is explained by self-theory. Self-theory says that people create their own ideas about their age and health as a form of self-knowledge. Self-consistency and self-improvement might have something to do with how people see these things. Dolly Parton, she's 75 years old. And she doesn't look it. People often think she's in her 50s instead of her 70s. This is because Dolly Parton doesn't look like what people think an actress, singer, songwriter, and amazing performer would be at 70 plus years old. Another way of thinking says that the links between subjective age and health are based on a lifespan view. It's a theory that says as people get older, they take on society's negative views about getting older and they apply them to themselves. These beliefs have the potential to come true on their own, affecting how well people work, how healthy they are, and how long they live. It's important to remember that how we feel and act can be directly affected by how we think and feel about getting older. A positive outlook on getting older can predict a better quality of life, less depression, and overall well-being. A study from the University of Kansas found that even pretending to smile lowers your heart rate and lowers your blood pressure. A 2018 study looked at how biological aging, as measured by blood pressure and lung function, changed in relation to chronological age between 1988 and 2010. Even in a short amount of time, they found that there were big differences in how people aged, with more recent generations being biologically younger than those who came before them. The biological age of both men and women of all ages in the United States has gone down over the last 20 years, according to these studies. Even though 60 is not the new 40, it's more like how we used to think of 50 than it was in the past. How we look and act can also change how we feel about getting older. You'll look younger on the outside if you dress more stylish and act more confident. Why should styles stay the same no matter how old you get? See, there's a difference between buying the same style every season and changing it to keep up with latest trends. Dress for your shape. Don't be afraid to try new styles, especially ones that look good on you. Show off your best features, improve your confidence, and dress comfortably in more modern styles. Your friends 20 years younger will likely comment on how young you now look. Lastly, as we get older, our ideas about getting older change, and they're affected by many things. It's important to keep an open mind and not let society's negative views on aging change how we see and feel about getting older. We can live happy full lives at any age if we keep a positive attitude and work to make ourselves better. All this talk about age, you know, do do you know what gets higher with age? Willie Nelson. These are interesting things with JC.